So I kind of promised to do less snake oil videos. However, I saw an ad for this one and I just had to take a look at it. And also I'm working on a few other videos that just take a little bit more time. So let's get started. Non-standard technology. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exclusive algorithm. That is smarter, faster, probably illegal, and of course, <laughs> louder. Built for sound designers and producers. Get ready for quick and epic results. <laughs> for your audio. Get ready for Too much? I don't think so. Well, marketing department going brr. You can say something about this marketing, but one thing that they are doing, which other plugin companies are not doing, is actually showing what it sounds like. It's it's pretty straightforward. Do I like it? We'll have to find out. So it's the loudness jackhammer. And it's uh, basically built to make things louder. Not necessarily the mix or the master, uh, but also for individual uh, tracks to make them shine through or push through the mix. Uh, does your sound seem thin or weak? Make it uber loud! Add power and volume, give specific sounds the space they need. No, let them occupy the space they want. Like it's not giving them the space they need. If you give them the space they need, you are adjusting the rest of your mix. Small difference. Blah, blah, blah. Runs on almost everything. Although it doesn't really run on M1. Like it's not natively compatible from what I've seen of installing it. It's not native on M1, uh, Apple Silicon. It requires an iLock account, no iLock stick, and it has a free demo, a free trial. Uh, they do wanna know a lot of information about you when, because you need to check out and they wanna know your address and stuff. That's maybe a bit too much for a demo, but they do provide a free demo and that's great. So we're going to take a look at that demo, of course. This is it. Uh, we've got input gain, we've got output gain, we've got denoise, which is probably needed if you push a lot of gain and a lot of volume. We've got a clipper, because um, if you can't get it loud enough, just make it clip. Uh, we've got multiple modes, we've got uh, three characters. The cool thing is that, that the heavier the character is, the more the user interface cracks. Same thing happens uh, with my Neumann console. If I want to gain it up with a screwdriver, if I go too far, it also cracks, showing me that things are going uh, really loud. That's that's how things work in the world. That's how, how audio things work. When you turn something up very far, the front plate will crack. That's just what it is. Oh, and um, if you happen to know the title of the song, leave it in the comments down below. There's no auto gain in here. Uh, however, the Pro L2, uh, the limiter from Fabfield also does have auto gain. And I, and I think that's that's okay for something like this, like... So something that is kind of interesting is that there's no, no visual feedback at all. Like, like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, there's something in terms of feedback. And another thing to note is that it's... It's clipping, so so we've got some overs. Not a lot, but it is clipping. Like, 
is it so difficult to keep things below zero decibels? Like, do I always need to gain back a little bit? So yeah. Okay. So this uh, this is of course nice, but it's not made to to do nice nice things. It's it's made to make things uber loud. So um, let's um, let's do that. Let's just go all the way. Let's stress it. I'm still getting overs. I'm getting overs. Like, here, again. And it has to do... This is... Wow. So the overs, they are on the attack. So so it's it's releasing. It's It's opening up the volume. And then... It's too late with attacking and it's creating an over. You're, you're not making things like really uber loud. You're just letting a part of the loudness being made by the clipping in the DAW. It's not the plugin that's doing that. It's it's doing a part in the DAW. Let's also uh, uh, add a bit of clipping in here. So let's uh, push it and clip it. <laughs> And it's still producing overs. I don't want overs. At least if you make things uber loud, keep it under the zero decibel level. Otherwise you're not making things uber loud with a plugin, with an algorithm, which is non-standard. You're just doing a bit of compression and upping up the output volume by a lot. I, I can do that with a gain plugin as well. Okay. This thing is impossible to work with. Like, like if you're going for a Masterbus plugin, and I think it's going for that because there's no auto gain in here. If it would be a channel plugin, it would need to be gaining down while I'm upping the push. But I think it's it's going for Masterbus plugin because it's really aiming at a zero dB output gain, which is like completely stupid to have in the mix only on the Masterbus. But if it's aiming to be a Masterbus plugin, it's clipping like hell. And I can understand like, okay, Maybe on my system it doesn't clip that well because I do have headroom built in almost everywhere. But it's very unreliable to work that way. Because again, it isn't really clipping over here. It's more that I'm seeing clipping. But my output converter already has 5 decibels of, of headroom. On a different system where there isn't that headroom available, it can create a certain, certain cool sound. However, it gets unreliable because it will differ from system to system what type of distortion the clipping will make. I don't think that clipping the output is the answer. It's never the answer. Clipping is never the answer. Yeah, clipping internally might be the answer and, and having the result of the clipping. But just clipping it so the end user's device will make the result, that's not the answer. So it's it's impossible to gain again. It's, it's like the simplest thing in audio, but plugin developers just don't care about gaining. I mean, if they don't care about gaining, do they care about audio at all? Uberloud is again such a plugin that's just like bundling a few DSP algorithms together, making it look nice, uh, making a very good marketing campaign, and then grabbing 69, nice, uh, euros for it. I mean, like, yeah, it kind of works. It does what it says on the box, but it doesn't do it in the right way with the clipping. And you you don't really need it. I mean, with stock plugins, you can make this sound just as well. So yeah, that's what I think about Uberloud. I would love to hear what you think. So I'll link to Boom Library down below where you can check out uh, Uberloud yourself. Full disclosure, I'm not in contact with Boom Library. I made this video because I saw an ad on Facebook. <laughs> And everything that I was saying was my complete, honest, independent opinion. If you like the independence of my channel, make sure to support me. And the best way to support me is by buying stuff through my affiliate link. So if you need something for your studio, make sure to buy it either at Toman or Sweetwater. And I'll get a little bit of your purchase in return for sending customers their way. So I've got them linked, Toman, Sweetwater, on the QR codes. And they are also in the description down below. And I highly appreciate it if you all use my affiliate links. Another way to support me is by joining the fan club on Patreon.com. I'll link Patreon over here. On Patreon, you get early access to videos. Uh, we're doing a monthly Q&A. 
some other good stuff, check it out. It's all over here. Last way to support me and the whole YouTube platform is by watching more videos. So I'll link one of my videos over here. But YouTube will do its best to recommend other people's videos as well. Make sure to check them out as well. They will be around this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing. And bye-bye.